Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of volume. And we will be using three different equations to find the volume of a rectangular prism. And we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're talking about volume, we're talking about how many cubes it would take to fill up a 3D shape like our rectangular prism here. And I want you to see that it can use one particular equation. We're going to look at our length. We're going to count how many cubes are across. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to write the equation on the bottom and then I'll write the actual numbers up on top. So I've got six and then how far back? What's the width? One, two, three. So if you multiply your length times your width, or in this case, six times three, that's gonna get you 18. So this whole layer right here, you can't see all of it, but it goes right back here. That is a layer of 18 cubes. The question is, is how many layers are there? Well, you've got one, two, three, four layers. And that's the side, we're not gonna count that. That's the top layer, we're not gonna count that. We've got one, two, three, four layers. And that's what we call our height. So one equation we can use for volume is length times width times height. Or in this case, 6 times 3, we know that's 18. And we're going to have 4 sets of 18, or 18 times 4. And that's going to get us 72. We're going to call these cubic units, because really what we're doing is we are seeing how many cubes we can fit in this 3D solid. Now there's another equation that we can use Still get us the same answer, but it's going to look at it in a slightly different way. Another equation that you might see is going to be V equals BH. Now, this H right here is the same height right here, but this B is actually referring to the base. And what they did is they just took length times width, and they just combined it into a base. Because when you're counting this bottom layer, when we did our 6 as a length and 3 as a width, we knew that 6 times 3, that's going to be a fact. We knew that was 18. And so rather than listing out 6 times 3 as separate, you can actually just figure out the base or the amount of cubes in one layer. So in this case, we're 18. And then simply multiply that times the height. And so we're going to have 18. When you have two letters next to each other, that means multiply. So we're going to still take our 4 as our height, and it's going to get us our same answer of 72 cubic units. Sometimes it's written out cubic. Sometimes you can just put a little 3 up there as an exponent, because that means units cubed. But let's see what happens when we find the volume of a cube. So this is a special type of rectangular prism called a cube, and it's a cube because each face is a square. It has the exact same dimensions as its length and its width and its height. So we can still use these other equations if we want to. We have a length of 1, 2, 3, and a width of 1, 2, 3, and then we have a height of 1, 2, 3. So really it's 3 times 3 times 3, so that's going to make 27 cubic units. Or if we wanted to use our other equation, base times height, well, we have a base of 9 because we have three rows of 3. And so we're going to call that 9 times a height of 3, so that's going to be 27 cubic units. But really, take a look at what we did up here. We have the exact same number multiplied by itself three times. So a third way that you can find the equation for volume, if it's a cube, is you can do side times side times side, or s times s times s. Really, you're taking the side, 3, and multiplying it by itself three times. Now it's time for you to try. Take a moment and try to find the volume of this rectangular prism. Do it with two different equations. When you have your answer, unpause the video and check your work. If you use the equation on the left, you would have counted the length is 5, the width is 5, and the height is 5. Or if you use the equation on the right, you would have combined the length and width into a base of 25 and a height of 5. Anyway, you look at it, it's 125 cubic units. If you noticed it was a cube, you could have used this equation, volume equals side times side times side.